Felix, let's play apples to apples. Feeling a little bit peckish, are you, Andrew? <laughs> We compare two wrist candy, two beautiful watches that are alike in some ways, and we will tell you how they're alike. Different in others. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> um, today we have two of the most wrist presency statement power watches we could find. You used your words good there. <laughs> yes, I'm These very literate. Episodes. Do you want do you want to see what we've got? I'm dying to see what's in the box of mystery. Please open it. Okay. Hey, 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 look at those big boys. Yep, today we have the one and only Cartier Santos. 100. Yes, 100%. <laughs> and the other one and only Panerai Luminor 1950K submersible flyback chrono. Whoa, some heavy hitters. You'd heavy expect hitters. nothing less. What are you hoping for? I'm just going to flip the coin and make it happen. I'll flip it. Okay. Um, Heads for Panerai, tails for Cartier. Okay. Cool. What do we got? Hang on. Oh, Who gets oh, what? Oh, I get tails, oh. don't I? Yeah. What do I get? You didn't describe it to a watch. I did. I said head for, head for something, tails for Cartier. Oh. Should we do that again? Heads for Cartier. Okay. Tails for Panerai. Got it. I have got... Panerai. All right, I've got the Cartier. All right, all right, all right. Felix, I have drawn wristwatch royalty here, the Cartier Santos, dating back to 1904, first produced, and then commercially produced, the first ever commercially produced wristwatch in 1911. This isn't a history lesson though, this is about why this is a statement watch, and I don't think I need to talk. I'm just gonna drop the mic, don't, and let's don't drop the take, watch. <laughs> take a close up of that square case. There is unmistakable power emanating from such a strong, bold, masculine design. Maybe not quite as old as yours, but still quite credible on the history front. Italian Navy, Sylvester Stallone bringing it back to life in the 90s. It's about a decade after Gordon Gecko gave this one another lease of life on Wall Street. If you're an action star that's just released your first movie, <laughs> you go Panerai. It's, I mean, they're just big, they're instantly recognisable, and if you, want, if you want a statement watch, that's what you want. 47 millimetre case, flyback chrono, 300 metres water resistance, it's not just, you know, a fashion line, accessory. No. And look, I think that in that is the truth. This is more Wall Street in the sense that it has some dressy touches. We have a crocodile strap, we have a lovely polished bezel, a couple of different uh, case finishings, which is dressy, and, but it always has those exposed screws to remind you that, you know, you lift, right? Or is this Do you guy, even lift? I'm, I'm, I'm to too lift. busy crawling it's through the though. jungles of South America to bother <laughs> about lifting. My muscles are earned. <laughs> And speaking of earnings, where are you at on the Look, price front? Uh, you, you, you know how I mentioned that in-house movement, that does add a little bit to the price. This guy comes in at 20,950. Mm -hmm. This one's at uh, 9,800. Water resistance is good for the pool at 100 metres. Just remember to take the alligator strap off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, um, the rubber strap but looks look, like rubber. They're for different people, but I think they both make quite a good statement. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Thanks for playing apples to apples, let us know.